Rapunzel's Story Once upon a time, there lived a man in his lovely house with his beautiful wife. They were soon expecting a little bundle of joy. In front of their house, there was a very huge mansion. Splendid Rapunzel herbs grew in the mansion's garden. But no one dared to go there as this mansion belonged to a sorceress named Gothel. One fine morning, the wife was feeling extremely anxious and was unable to eat anything. So in order to get some fresh air, the wife went towards the balcony. Hmm? <laughs> Darling, look at that baby! Indeed, that's an adorable baby! The wife was completely mesmerized by the baby and the little kids playing around. Soon her gaze fell on fresh and crisp Rapunzel leaves in front of her big mansion. Wow, those Rapunzel leaves look so fresh and crisp. I wish to have those leaves as salad for dinner tonight. When the husband heard his wife's mm. wish, he panicked and tried to convince her against her wish. My dear wife, those Rapunzel leaves belong to the vile sorceress Gothel. It is impossible to go there. Mm. The husband tried his best to lure his beloved wife with other sweet treats, but the wife was adamant and demanded Rapunzel leaves from him. Hmm. Sweetheart, please try to understand. Please try to understand. I strongly desire those leaves. Unable to see his wife's tears, loving husband agreed to fulfill her wish. Husband approached the sorceress and asked her to lend him some Rapunzel leaves. Oh, how headstrong that sorceress was, for she denied to give him even a single leaf. But the husband mm. was not going to take no for an answer, as he knew how his wife craved those Rapunzel leaves, so he decided to steal those Rapunzel leaves. When it was late in the night, the young man sneaked into the mansion and quickly began to pluck those Rapunzel leaves. <sighs> Rapunzel leaves, fresh and crisp, only for my <laughs> darling wife. Wife made herself a nice salad from Rapunzel leaves and ate it to her heart's content. <gasps> How did you dare come into my garden and steal my Rapunzel leaves? Oh, please, forgive me, Gothel. My, my pregnant wife saw those leaves and she craved for it desperately. Listening to the pleading husband, Gothel's mind began to weave a nasty plan. With a wicked smile on her face, she said, Fine, but in one condition, you must give me your child. No, I can't do that. No. If you do not give me the child, then the consequences would be terrible. Threatened by Gothel's warning, the husband finally oh. agreed to Gothel's <laughs> demand. <laughs> the moment their baby was born, the couple tried to flee the town and escape from Gothel. We need to leave as soon as possible, else Gothel will snatch our baby from us! <laughs> No, please don't do this! Gothel carefully looked at the baby and decided a name for her. Rapunzel, that will be your name for those with the leaves that your mother craved for. 
Gothel took very good care of the baby as if her own. Years had passed and the little baby grew to be the most beautiful girl under the care of Gothel. Her long hair was as magnificent as spun gold. <laughs> One day, when Gothel was brushing Rapunzel's beautiful long hair, an old man appeared in their room. <laughs> this old man was a great magician and was, in fact, Gothel's master. My dear ladies, it is now time for both of you to come and live in my splendid tower. It is about time that I rest my old bones and relax for a while. So take good care of this tower. But I warn you, Gothel, if you do not take good care of my tower, you will have to face my wrath! Master, do not worry. I promise to take good care of your tower. Gothel told Rapunzel that she needs to go to market. Rapunzel couldn't help but wonder how Gothel was planning to get down from his huge tower. Rapunzel, the very instant I return, I'll shout loud. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Immediately, you must let down your hair for me to climb back to the tower. Okay. Rapunzel would entertain herself by singing beautiful songs for herself as she spent her time alone in the huge tower. Roses are Sugar is sweet, and so are you. I wonder who is singing this beautiful song. It looks like the sound is coming from that tower. Hiding behind a tree, Prince was enjoying Rapunzel's song. Suddenly, he saw Gothel calling out. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! Huh? The next day, when Gothel had gone out, Rapunzel was engrossed singing a merry tune. Roses are Suddenly, she heard a loud voice. Violet Rapunzel! Violet. Rapunzel! Let down your hair! As soon as the beautiful tresses cascaded down, Prince held onto it and climbed up the tall tower. <gasps> hey, please do not be scared. Think of me as your good friend. Your melodious voice is what brought me here. Phew. Young lady, what keeps you in this tall, mysterious tower? The tower belongs to a great magician who appointed Gothel as the caretaker of this tower. 
He also warned her that if she won't take good care of the tower, she would have to face his wrath. Gothel is not my mother. She's snatched me from my parents when I was just a little baby. She's been taking care of me and my hair ever since. Took care of you? But didn't she snatch you from your real parents? Yes. With the help of my hair, she climbs up and down this tower. That's the reason I'm trapped in this tall tower. Take my word, my lady. I will rescue you from here. With a promise to rescue her from the tall tower, Prince climbed down with a smile on his face. Oh, but little did they know that Gothel had seen the prince sneaking out of the tower. You ungrateful child! I thought I kept you away from the rest of the world! But no, you've betrayed me. Gothel punished Rapunzel by taking her to a barren desert and abandoned her there so that no one would ever find her. Unaware of what had transpired between Gothel and Rapunzel, the prince visited the tower and called out. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. But to his horror, Prince was greeted by the dangerous sorceress, Gothel. There, there. I know you come for Rapunzel, but she does not live here anymore. Gothel pushed the Prince from the tall tower, badly injuring him. Yet the brave Prince gathered his soldiers and went looking for Rapunzel. The prince looked for Rapunzel throughout the kingdom, in the deserts, fields, and forests. Huh? Finally, while traveling through the desert, he heard the song that Rapunzel would sing all the time. The prince and his guards began destroying the tall tower, which Gothel was supposed to take care of. Gothel tried her best to stop the guards from ruining the tower, but it was all in vain. The magician appeared there and could not behold his tower getting destroyed. Boiling with anger, the magician punished Gothel and left the place. The prince reunited Rapunzel with her parents and they lived happily ever after.